Mobile World Congress 2023 is here and even more in full swing. With that, we circle back to Samsung Display with their innovations and showcases they have around their flexible display technologies and how they work in their current proven concept state and what they could mean for future products that might be produced by Samsung Electronics, potentially further expanding on their flexible display products, bringing more options to the end user. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy new and exclusive videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV. Here is our Samsung Display booth tour and showcase here at Barcelona for MWC 2023. For clarification for those who are otherwise unaware, Samsung Display are a separate entity to Samsung Electronics. Samsung Display focuses on developing the best-in-class display technology from traditional non-folding displays through to multiple advanced display technologies like QD OLED and also a focus on the latest flex display technology for folding devices. Samsung Display do not actually produce final products for public release to customers but rather to relevant OEM partners like Samsung Electronics who then choose to produce final products to consumers using the display tech sourced and purchased from Samsung Display. By the way, all the products showcased here in the Samsung Display booth tour are proof of concept and not final devices, with the sole purpose of showcasing each display tech from purpose to benefits. Now let's start with the Flex displays. These consist of the Flex X, the Flex G, and Flex Note. The Flex S works as a multi-foldable display that can be folded in and out twice in an S shape. From this proof and concept device, the Flex S shows a thicker profile for the device when folded with a compact width and takes on a more extreme curved edge to the outer display. When unfolded, although no details given on the aspect ratio, display and resolution, it does look to be around a seven inch display with a wider focused aspect ratio for a large display experience. As the outer display with the curved nature does make it feel more exposed, handling a device in this form factor does feel unique and looks to take a bit of time getting used to. On a scale of one to 10 on how useful or beneficial this would be to the end user is still yet to be seen, but this is still cool to see a flexible display technology being pushed here in this unique design. Next is the Flex G. This display is a multi-foldable display that can be folded inwards twice in a G shape. The Flex G follows a more protective approach and could be seen as the reverse of the Flex S, folding from either the left third of the display first, followed by the right side or vice versa in its folded form. Once folded, unlike the previous Flex S, there is no outer display, meaning you would need to unfold the device for full display and device interaction. The whole form factor does make more sense from a more protective standpoint and could have a higher chance of being used in a final product. Let's move over to the Flex Note. Samsung Display is stating this to be a more monetized Note PC display when in its unfolded state. Everything about the Flex Note Display Showcase screams what could be a next generation look at what the Tab S Ultra could be above the traditional fixed display panels or even a new lineup of Galaxy Book devices offering an option that fills the gap in between a Book 360 and Ultra. This probably has to be our favorite flex display showcase that we would love to see make its way into our final product. Flex folding displays are one thing to behold, but there is one flex display form factor we were excited to see, which Samsung Display are calling Slidable Flex Solo. What we have here is a 13 inch 3x2 aspect ratio device form factor using a slidable display and mechanism which keeps the same device thickness while being able to expand horizontally to a 17.3 inch 4x3 aspect ratio form factor display device. Potential concerns around durability over time for mechanism in which expands the display, especially in a large form factor showcase as we see here. But the potential of how useful it is in a smaller form factor like what we see in smartphones, this would be a great alternative next to fold devices, allowing for a more traditional, more modern aspect ratio of 20 by nine to a wider four by three aspect ratio with a larger seven to eight inch display for more productivity. As these are the cool showcases from Samsung Display, let's do a quick run through of the other showcases Samsung Display have brought forward 
in that booth. GDR2000 is Samsung display showcasing the achievements and max peak brightness levels greater than 2000 nits using an OLED panel technology, which for devices like smartphones can aid and improve HDR content viewing and also better outdoor brightness in extreme sunlight situations. IK Display is all about Samsung Display putting a care and focus on how well improved their OLED panels are compared to conventional LCD panels in reducing and outright eliminating blue light emitters as this will better serve end users in reducing blue light, aiding for better sleep and less eye strain. Improvements to display energy consumption with Eco OLED and Eco OLED Plus focuses on how at roughly the same resolution, display size and brightness, there is a reduction of between 25 to 37% on power consumption backed with more eco-friendly materials being used of a more eco-friendly production process. From the established diamond pixel arrangement to the next generation round diamond pixel optimized for the efficient eco OLED panels, this will aid in better readability matched to the improvements of efficiency. The final part of the Samsung display booth consists of four live demonstration areas, which first is mission one, known as wet and wild, which shows the protection of a fully IP rated Samsung display device when submerged in the right water conditions and how it can continue to work when using things like the camera app to take pictures using hand gestures. Mission two, known as up in the air, demonstrates the lighter weight advantage of Samsung Display's OLED panels compared to conventional LCDs, using less space and a final product allowing for more free space for other useful components like a larger battery. Here you can see the use of helium-filled balloons attached to the relevant mentioned panels with OLED floating while the LCD drops down. Mission 3, known as Make It or Break It, showcases the use of a metal ball on a swing hitting a Samsung Display made OLED panel with no protective glass layer on top like you would find in a smartphone, which still remains functional and working after the wrecking ball hits it. Last is Mission 4, known as Reading is Believing, and here follows what we saw previously with a comparison of the reduction in blue light emittance on a Samsung Display OLED panel compared to LCD. After seeing what is from Samsung Display's proof of concept, improvements, and display innovations, what's your standout showcase and the one you are most eager to see in the final product? Let us know in the comment section below. For the latest news in the world of Samsung Daily, be sure to visit us at sammobile.com. And for the latest videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, and we will see you next time.